Understanding Esophageal Cancer. The esophagus is the tube that carries food and liquids from the throat to the stomach. Your esophagus is in the center of your chest. Cancer can develop in the upper, middle, or lower esophagus. Esophageal cancer starts in the cells lining the esophagus. It is a serious cancer. Only about one in five people survives for five years after an esophageal cancer diagnosis. This is because it is often not found until an advanced stage when tumors begin blocking food traveling to the stomach. In general, older people are at higher risk for esophageal cancer. However, the incidence has tripled among younger patients in the U.S. in recent decades. Men are at higher risk than women. Men are four times more likely to develop esophageal cancer than women. There are two main types of esophageal cancer, squamous cell carcinoma and adenocarcinoma. Both are caused by changes in esophageal cells. Esophageal squamous cell carcinoma, or ESCC, is the most common type worldwide. Esophageal adenocarcinoma, or EAC, is more common in Western countries, including the United States. In recent years, the rate of esophageal adenocarcinoma in the U.S. has increased 700%. Some other cancers can happen in the esophagus, but these are very rare. The most common risk factors for esophageal squamous cell carcinoma, or ESCC, is smoking and drinking alcohol. Doing both these things doubles your risk of ESCC compared to doing just one or the other. Other ESCC risk factors include drinking very hot liquids and eating a diet that is low in fruits and vegetables and high in red meat and processed foods. HPV, or human papillomavirus, can also cause ESCC. People with a rare swallowing disorder called achalasia are also at higher risk. Risk factors for esophageal adenocarcinoma include being a white non-Hispanic male, being over 50, having frequent or chronic acid reflux, also called gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD, especially if your symptoms start before age 30 being overweight, especially around the middle, using tobacco now or in the past, having a family history of esophageal adenocarcinoma or a condition called Barrett's esophagus. If you have three of these risk factors, esophageal cancer experts recommend an exam called an upper endoscopy. Among other things, an upper endoscopy looks for signs of Barrett's esophagus. This is the only condition that is known to lead to esophageal adenocarcinoma. In Barrett's, acid and other stomach contents splash into the esophagus, changing the lining to be more like the stomach lining. These changes can lead to cancer. There are no specific symptoms of Barrett's esophagus, and if you have heartburn, you may even find that your symptoms go away. However, having Barrett's makes it 25 times more likely that you will develop esophageal adenocarcinoma. About 4 in 10 people with Barrett's esophagus have no GERD symptoms, but many do. Besides heartburn, these may include a cough, hoarse voice, sore throat, or painful swallowing, feeling like there is a lump in your throat or food gets stuck, burping, nausea, regurgitation, and vomiting chest pain, a choking sensation when you lie down, tooth erosion. If you have GERD symptoms or a family history of Barrett's or esophageal cancer, ask your doctor about being checked for those conditions. You can reduce your risk of esophageal cancer. As with any cancer, one of the best prevention strategies is a healthy lifestyle. Avoid smoking and tobacco products. Reduce or eliminate alcohol consumption. Avoid red meat and processed foods. Eat a healthy diet with plenty of fruits and vegetables. Exercise regularly. Maintain a healthy weight. Early diagnosis of any esophageal cancer increases your chance for survival. 
someone diagnosed before esophageal cancer spreads is more than eight times likelier to survive than someone whose cancer has spread to other parts of the body. Today, about three-fourths of patients do not discover their esophageal cancer until it has spread. Diagnosis and treatment of Barrett's esophagus can prevent esophageal adenocarcinoma from ever developing.